Good afternoon. Uh, the topic of our lesson is light and dark. Learning objectives of the lesson. 3S1. Make basic statements related to personal information, people and objects on familiar topics and classroom routines. 3. A use of English 9. It is use uh, common present simple forms, positive, negative, question and uh, contractions to talk about what you want and like and habits and facts. Uh, lesson objectives of the lesson. Uh, learners will be able uh, to make sentences related to personal information, ask a question, do you? Uh, use short answers, yes, I do, no, I don't, and uh, do short presentations. So, good afternoon. How are you today? We are good. What's the day today? It is Thursday. What day was yesterday? It was Wednesday. What day will be tomorrow? It will be Friday. What's the day today? November the 5th. And what is the weather like today? It is windy. Please guess the topic of the lesson. A look at the picture and guess. It is the moon and the sun. Yes, it is black and white. There are stars and clouds. It is black and blue. And think more. What is it? Yes, it is dark and light. When you see the sun, it is day and light. When you see the moon, it is night and dark. Let us watch a video and sing a song, Tale of the Sun and the Moon.
Now, let's draw something you do during the day and night. Look at the worksheet and draw your pictures. For example, during the day I play. During the day I eat lunch. During the day I go to school. And look at the picture with the moon. During the night I read a book. During the night I sleep. Please draw pictures. Now I want you to speak. Get a survey to complete about your classmates do during the day and at night. Let us revise the question do you and short answers yes I do, no I don't. Do you remember my song? Do you like? Let us sing. Do you like broccoli? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like broccoli ice cream? No, I don't. Yucky! Do you like donuts? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like juice? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like donut juice? No, I don't. Yucky! Do you like popcorn? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like popcorn pizza? No, I don't. Yucky! Do you like bananas? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like soup? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like banana soup? No, I don't. Yuck! Say squeak, squeak, squeak. Okay, now you can ask each other questions. Do you? And answers. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Look at your tables. Look at the table at night. Listen to directions. Ask your classmates what they do at night. Write yes if they do activity and no if they don't do the activity. Example. Ilnara, Artur, do you dream at night? Artur, yes, I do. So, you should write yes opposite the name Artur. Look at the table. 
there are four activities. Do you dream at night? Do you watch movies at night? Do you listen to music? And do you watch fireworks? Look at another table. This table is called during the day. Uh, listen to directions. Ask your classmates what they do during the day. Write yes if they do activity and no if they don't do the activity. Example. Ilnara. Artur, do you eat ice cream during the day? Artur, yes, I do. So you write yes opposite the name Artur. So there are four activities which you can do during the day. Do you eat ice cream during the day? Do you run during the day? Do you look at the clouds during the day? And do you sunbathe during the day? Okay, let's start asking questions. Now, after asking questions, let us work in groups. Count up the information from your survey and write out the numbers for how many, many students do each activity. Write out numbers, for example, 8 as opposite to number 8. And this is a good opportunity for you to practice spelling. Okay, look at the directions. Count how many students do the activities at night. Write the number of students. For example, how many students eat pizza at night? You should write number eight number word question number one how many students dream at night question number two how many students watch movies at night question number three how many students listen to music at night and question number four how many students watch fireworks at night Okay, let's count. Now, another group. Listen to directions. Count how many students do the activity during the day. Write the number of students. For example, how many students eat pizza during the day? And you should write number word 8. Question number one. How many students eat ice cream during the day? You should write here the number. Question number two. How many students run during the day? Question number three. How many students look at the clouds during the day? And question number four. How many students sunbathe during the day? Okay, let's count and write numbers. Okay, now I want you to make the graph. Look at the graph. You should, in the graph, you should write four activities from your service. And you should write number of the students. For example, at this graph we have eight students and four activities. Dream, watch movies, listen to music and watch fireworks. You can make the graph like this. Now, 
I want you to present your graphs. Group number one, which uh, had answers of night activities, you should present like this. Eight students dream at night. Nine students watch movies at night. Six students listen to music at night. Three students watch fireworks at night. So, we uh, can listen to three groups and listen to the activities and number of students which uh, they do during the day and during the night. And after each presentation, you, we assess your classmates' presentations with smiley faces. If you like the presentation, you should raise the smile good. Pink smile is good. If you are in trouble with assessment, you should raise a yellow smile. It is so-so. And if you don't like the presentation, you should raise green. Smile, it is bad. Okay, thank you very much for your presentations and for your homework. You should be ready. Next lesson, you should be ready for the spelling of the activities during the day and during the night. Okay, now I want to ask you a question. Can you make sentences related to personal information? One more question. Can you ask a question to you? Can you use short answers? Yes, I do, no, I don't. Can you do short presentations? Please raise your smiles, pink, yellow and green. Those who said I can't, please will work later with your presentations. So, resources of this uh, lesson are here. And see them and you can find this lesson on this site thank you very much